Good morning, everybody. I thought today storm and rain perfect conditions to demonstrate wind gear, uh, rain gear. <laughs> and I'm in the woods, dry as in the desert. And if I bad luck, sun is even coming out. Boah. Our model Mike is wearing a rain jacket from Jack Wolfskin in three depressing colors made of a Texapore ecosphere membrane promising waterproof until 20,000 mm water column together with his wear pants, uh, rain pants from Decathlon for 14 euro 99 cent a pair of so-called waterproof hiking shoes from McKinley and the ensemble is completed by a nice ray cover in neon lemon outfitted like this the little pilgrim is perfectly suited for all seasons except winter by the way this is the jacket that disappointed me in last year no last year before corona on my camino last days before santiago 25 degrees high humidity didn't work at all as if you wouldn't wear a jacket at all but i hope that it will rain later on never thought that i would say this anyway because then I can demonstrate you what I was talking about because normally in the beginning when it starts raining water is peeling off the fabric as it should be and after some time they are showing up wet spots first small wet spots later bigger wet spots at a certain point the entire jacket is a wet spot and from this moment the membrane doesn't breathe anymore and first of all you start sweating inside and the water from the outside is coming through the membrane so this jacket has no sense anymore at this moment and some people say well, you have to renew the waterproofing and la, la 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 I know but how can I do it when I'm on the Camino I cannot carry a one kilo can of, of waterproofing spray with me or an, an ironing an ironing iron you know what I mean it's not possible makes no sense but I wouldn't be me if I wouldn't have any options for you so later on, I put on my new rain jacket that I want to take on my Camino this year. It's, I don't know, I, I bought it at TJ Maxx outlet, I don't know, 20, 25 euros. It's an Italian sports brand, so it's not that cheap, but it costs only, I don't know, 20, 25 euros. 100% plastic sealed seams and, and zippers 100% waterproof 0% breathable but you stay dry maybe sweat a little but who cares now let's go down to the pants I once saw a pair of rain pants made by Arcturix 
was about 600 euros. It's amazing. Now, this piece of shit, 14 euros, does what it's supposed to do. Keeps you dry. It is light, lightweight. Small for the backpack. When it's done, when, when, when it's dirty, in the your baggy, put them under under water. That's it. Why do I need to spend hundreds of euros for a rain pants? I don't get it. I also have another pair of rain pants by I don't know Faudé Vaud. I don't know, however you might pronounce it. And it's also waterproof, 100%. Also made of plastic. But it's thick. It's heavyweight. <laughs> Half of your backpack is full when you take the rain pants with you. And was about a little more than 100 euros. For what? It's not necessary. Now for the shoes. Meanwhile, mean, we, meanwhile, <laughs> I understand women that they buy such a huge amount of shoes. I guess well, now I have, I think, six pair of hiking shoes and they're all in use. So it's not just in the shelf for looking. And when I buy shoes, for me it's important that they are more or less waterproof because I know the conditions on the Camino. And my, ex my, my experience, as long as there is some kind of mesh, you know, mesh material in the shoes, it's not possible to get them waterproof. At some point, your feet get wet. Means all of my shoes, more or less, you get wet feet at a certain point. No, stop. My first pair of boots, the Mindel Tessin, made of 100% leather, genuine leather, and I waxed them with bee wax. They were perfectly waterproof, but they are heavy as shit. And in the summer you get very hot feet. So you have to think what you can deal better with. Hot feet or wet feet. I don't have to say much about the rain cover. It's just a plastic hot, made of plastic. 10 euros, 15 euros, 20 euros, depends on the size and the brand. It's a plastic bag, more or less. And small word to ponchos. I'm quite sure that from waterproof and protection against rain is perfect because not only it protects your entire body, but also protects your backpack. And that's, amazing. that's an amazing thing. But anyway, not for me. I don't like. I know this shouldn't be an issue, but first of all, I think wearing a poncho makes you look like a hobbit. <laughs> and I think, I don't know, I never wore one, so just a prejudice. I think it's not as comfortable to, to get some things out of your backpack. And on the other hand, when you're on, you know, wide plain like the Mercedes and there's heavy wind, I think hiking is no fun anymore with a poncho. But as I mentioned, I never tried it out. Just what I saw when other people wearing them. I don't know.
you choose. Well, now, lucky me, starting to rain. <laughs> I changed my, ja my jacket and as you see, no dark spots. Zipper sealed, very gross. 100% waterproof. What I wanted to say is 25 euros, 15 euros, 10 euros. Shoes you have anyway. Means your entire rain gear is 50 euros or even less. There's no need to buy a Jack Wolf skin Texapur Ecosphere jacket for 250 euros. <laughs> that doesn't keep you dry. Oh no, it's hailing. It's nice. I love it. And this is also a good test if my camera is a little water resistant. We will see. Um, what I wanted to say. If it's about buying a backpack or buying shoes, so the things that have massive impact on your physical health, you shouldn't count every single euro. Your health is more important than money. But all other rain gear, pants, shirts, underwear, you can be a little stingy. Because boah, nobody cares. And such outlet stores like TJ Maxx, I think it's TJ Maxx outside of Germany. In Germany it's TK Maxx. It doesn't matter. Um, you cannot go there just and say, well, now I go buying stuff at TJ Maxx. No, it doesn't work. TJ Maxx you can only buy by coincidence. But when you find something, you can buy, I don't know, shirts for 10 euros, hiking pants for 20 euros. You don't have to pay much on your other gear. And there's one thing, maybe somebody of you can explain to me. I don't know, I've seen this often or... Nah, not often, but not really. People walking with tracking umbrellas. I don't understand, what's the meaning of that? You know, when it rains and you're wearing a rain jacket, you're dry. There's a hood, not for me because I didn't put it on. Now I did. <laughs> you stay dry. And with an umbrella. Okay, your head is dry. Your hair is in perfect condition. But when there's wind, rest of your body is wet. And when there's even more wind, I think there's no much fun hiking anymore. But please, somebody explain to me. I don't get it. Anyway, with that being said, slowly I get cold fingers because of the hail. And yeah, I hope I could provide you at least with some more or less useful information and maybe help you with a decision when you, when you want to buy rain gear. Doesn't have to be expensive. And yeah, next time we're talking about sleeping bags. Do you need one? We'll see. Next time, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Well, maybe a few days or at latest next week. Anyways, see you soon, stay, stay safe, stay healthy, get out, even if it's shitty weather, weather it's kind of fun, and buen camino. <laughs>